guys, welcome back to Music to Your Home. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning the white keys on the keyboard. Okay, let's get into the white keys on the keyboard. So piano keys are named for the first seven letters of the alphabet, beginning with letter A. So on the keyboard, we have letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D, letter E, letter F, letter G. And then these notes are basically repeating all over the keyboard over and over again. So each Y key is recognized by its position in or next to a black key group. For example, A's are found between the top two keys of each three black key group. So here's a group of three black keys, the top two keys, and right in between it is letter A. So for an exercise, we're going to start with our right hand. We're going to use our third finger and we're gonna play all the A's going up to the right of the piano. So I want you to do this with me. Find your group of three, top two of those in the middle, and third finger is A. Okay, let's move up to the next one. Here's our group of three, top two in the middle is letter A. Let's keep going up. Group of three, top two, third finger is letter A. Let's go up again, group of three, top two, third finger, there's your letter A. Let's try that now with the left hand. Group of three, top two, third finger is letter A. Make sure you're doing this with me. Group of three, top two, third finger is letter A. Group of three, top two, in the middle, Group of three, top two, in the middle, letter A. And believe it or not, the last note all the way in the bottom here, if you have a full-size keyboard, is also letter A. Okay, let's get to the next note, letter B. Letter B is a little bit easier. We're just going to look for the group of three, and the note right above the top note of the group of three is letter B. So let's do the same exercise. Third finger, let's play all the Bs. Find your group of three, and here's your B. Okay, let's do this together. Moving up, group of three, top note is letter B. So we're always looking for the group of three. Right above the top note, we've got letter B. Last one, group of three, top note is letter B. Remember to keep your fingers curved. Let's try it with the left hand. Group of three, top note is letter B. Moving down to the left, group of three, top note, third finger, is letter B. Group of three, top note is letter B. Group of three, top note, letter B. And if we go down one more, we can find letter B right here above this group, this one note. Okay, let's keep going. Next note is letter C. We're going to start with our right hand and do the same exercise. Letter C is pretty easy. We find the group of two, and it's right below the group of two. Okay, so group of two, let's do this together. Third finger on C. Let's go up to the right. Group of two, third finger, letter C. Keep going. Group of two, letter C. Find your group of two, letter C. And believe it or not, the last note on the keyboard is letter C. And in the left hand, let's do the same exercise. Find your group of two to the left of the key, is letter C. Group of two to the left of this black key, letter C. Let's go down again. Group of two, letter C. Group of two, letter C. All right, moving along, letter D. Group of two, right in the middle. Pretty simple, this one. Very simple to recognize. Group of two, right in the middle, letter D. Let's go up. Group of two, Right in the middle, letter D. Group of two, right in the middle, letter D. Group of two, right in the middle, letter D. All right, let's get to the left hand. Group of two, right in the middle, letter D. Group of two, right in the middle, letter D. Keep going down. Group of two, right in the middle, letter D. Group of two, right in the middle, letter D. All right, next is letter E. 
Also looking at the group of two, this time just to the right, the next key up is letter E. Let's give it a shot. Third finger on E. Let's move up. Let's pick out all these E's together. Group of two. Here's your letter E. Group of two. Going up. Letter E. Keep going. Group of two. Just to the right. Letter E. With the left hand. Group of two. Just to the right. Letter E. Group of two. Just to the right. Letter E. Group of two. Letter E. Group of two. Letter E. All right, we're almost there. Now let's look at the group of three again. Just to the left of group of three is letter F. Also a very important note to recognize. Group of three, just to the left, is letter F. Let's give it a shot with the right hand. Letter F, moving up. Group of three, letter F. Moving up, group of three, letter F. Moving up, group of three, letter F. Excellent. All right, let's go to the left hand. Group of three, letter F. Going down. Group of three, letter F. Group of three, letter F. Look at your group of three, letter F. All right, last note, and we're looking at letter G. So at letter G, we find a group of three, and it's in between the two bottom of the three, uh, three group set. So here's our group of three. Bottom two, right in the middle, is your letter G. Let's pick them out. Right hand first. Letter G. Moving up, look for that group of three. Bottom two, middle. Letter G. Keep going up. Group of three. Bottom two, middle note. Letter G. And let's get the last one with the right hand. Group of three. Bottom two, middle note. There we go, letter G. Left hand. Group of three. Bottom two, in the middle. There's your G. Group of three, bottom two, middle note, letter G. Group of three, bottom two, middle note, letter G. Group of three, bottom two, letter G. Okay, great job today. So this week what you should be practicing is using your visual cues to figure out those white key names using the groups of two and the groups of three. At next week's lesson, we're going to be learning about C position and learning how to read some notation. I'll see you then.